Good morning. I'm back to share with you the three, excuse me, four missionary journals that I've been working on for the last couple weeks. They are finished and I would like to show them to you. I'm going to do two at a time, so there'll be two videos for this. And let's start with Memories and The Lord's House. So these are pictures of outside of our temple buildings, gorgeous red leaves. Um, these are smaller journals. They are one signature each, and they are four and a half by six and a half. They are chipboard in the center, and uh, the book mending tape on the spine of all of them. They are each different, but with some of the same elements. Let me explain. I have two that, excuse me, three that wanted blue, and one that wanted, <coughs> excuse me, gray. So, um, they are different in that way. I've found three blue kits, and one black and gray. So, let's do this one first. This is one of the blue ones. We've got a vintage style book plate on the front cover. I mean, on the first page, excuse me. I've used the kit pages and then on the back of this particular journal, I've used Tracy Fox's uh, ledger paper. My usual vintage papers, um, just scrap pieces that I had in my stash. This one's got a tab on it. A vintage style image. If you love the people, the Holy Ghost will make up the difference. The story begins, journal card. Remember. And a library card. Let your paper, a paper bag that has two journal cards in it. Made envelopes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Each journal has two envelopes made from the pages of that particular kit. With scraps, I've used, um, I've made, excuse me, tags for this journal. Wonderful scripture quote about teaching the people. And with faith, all things are possible on the envelope. And inside the envelope, you've got a journal card made with, um, it's not quite watercolor paper bits real close, nice and sturdy, washi tape and documented. The next page we've got scraps that I've sewn together to make a pad of paper. Stenciling, these are, excuse me, I'm sorry I forgot to mention that before. <clears throat> these journals are very masculine, therefore mm -mm. Male missionaries, we call them elders. A booklet with some vintage tape. So you've got all the space on the inside. A pocket with a mushroom. Limited edition and some stuff like that. I've taken two Rolodex, glued them together. Nice and sturdy journal card. A tag with a stamp on it. And then in the back, you've got more stenciling and more journal space. Another stamping, follow your heart. Another over the top page. We have a more vintage stamp and tape. A pocket with a tag and a tag that I've stamped on. And again, the stenciling on the back. Everybody's doing well today. I woke up with a, a, a disconcerted, like, uh, not quite right day, but it's improving, it's improving. Another pad of paper. My burden is light. You know, it's one of those days that you just, you're wondering if you should really get out of bed. <laughs> um, washi tape on that journal card and another this tag's even larger than the last one um <clears throat> excuse me tamping stamping on the bag with 
two more journal cards. An embossed belly band with a stamped journal card, a vintage Wells under index card, and a tea dyed index card. I love that paper. It's probably impossible to see on the video, but that is such aged paper. I love that. Tuck spot here with the journal card and a beautiful, I love this poem about all the wonderful times there are to talk to Heavenly Father. And that's memories. The second one is the house of the Lord, meaning uh, for our church means temple. Okay, <clears throat> so that was that was blue and green. This one is blue and orange. Another pad of paper. This one's even larger than the last book. And I found these at an estate sale. Isn't that kind of cool? It's got lines on both sides. Whoops. Let me get it right. On both sides. And this envelope, love one another, and on the inside you've got two journal cards, one is stamped. And an index card tucked under the flap. A vintage index card, super thick cardstock, really. Um, <clears throat> a corner tuck, travelers and traveling, which is what missionaries do, and a Tim Hall's paper doll. This is also Tim Hall's. An index card divider, real sturdy. It's a serve and a blue index card. This is um, Patricia Veramonte's style book page pocket. <coughs> the book page is doubled up scraps from the kit. Follow your soul, it knows the way. That's from Amity Bloom. A journal card there with a tab on it. Goes in the side here. And then two tags in the pocket. Center has a pocket. Stenciled on the flap, but you can still journal on all that. Inside, we've got a booklet with a wonderful quote about being a missionary. And it's from line journaling. A stamp there. Another page pocket with a tag behind. Excuse me, journal card behind. Tag on the, two tags on the inside. Don't tell God how big your storm is. Tell your storm how big your God is. Lots and lots of journal space. And again, a Tim Holtz people and quote, found himself in a strange land. And number five, um, index card divider and a journal card. Flap, index card. <coughs> Excuse me, help me teach with inspiration. Wish you were here. Paper. And that is House of the Lord. So you've got those two. And then the next video will be the next two. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.